How's it going guys? My name is Dom and welcome to your first Dom7 tutorial. Um, so in this one I want to talk about what exactly the Dom7 library is um, and of course how to actually install it um, inside your web projects. Um, so uh, Dom7 is a document objects model manipulation library um, so it lets you interface with HTML elements um, inside your JavaScript code. Um, so it's actually part of the Framework 7 library. Um, it's custom made for that. So um, it says here that Framework 7 doesn't actually use a third party library. Um, so um, DOM 7 is used for their DOM manipulation. Um, and it lets you do things such as uh, select, add, um, or remove HTML elements and attributes. Um, you can also apply animations and event listeners. Um, and it's actually very similar um, syntax and methods um, to jQuery. So if you know jQuery, um, this should be quite straightforward to you. Um, so let's see a couple of ways you can actually install DOM7 inside your web projects. Um, so the first way you can install it is uh, going to the GitHub page for DOM7 and then actually downloading um, the distributable uh, source code of DOM7 and then including it inside your web server um, and then of course inside your HTML page. So um, on the GitHub page, if you scroll down and go to the um, distributable folder um, inside here, you can either choose uh, DOM7.js or DOM7.min.js um, and download this file and then of course just um, uh, host this file locally on your server and then include it inside a script tag uh, in your HTML file. So that is one way of including um, the DOM7 library. Um, you can also uh, include it or install it using npm. Um, so uh, using npm you can just type out npm um, install DOM7 and then that'll of course uh, install DOM7 inside your node modules directory then from there you can use um, a front-end build uh, tool or bundler um, such as Webpack to actually import it inside your source code. So I recommend doing it this way um, but for the purposes of simplicity um, in my tutorials I'm just going to be downloading the actual source code directly and then including it inside the HTML page. Um, so let's see an example of that right now. Um, so I've got this HTML file um, right here and inside the source code for this file um, it looks like this. So you can see here I've downloaded the DOM7 library um, and I'm just including it um, using a script source tag. Okay, And um, what this does is it actually um, exposes the DOM7 object right there um, to the global scope um, and the uh, developer of DOM7 has just said um, it'll be easier if you actually assign um, a variable or constant um, to the DOM7 object such as um, two dollar signs um, just to make it easier to use. So now um, to use the DOM7 library instead of typing out DOM7 like that um, you can instead just type out two dollar signs and that right there is going to be um, also the DOM7 library. Um, so uh, that is the library installed um, let's just see an example of the library being used um, using this method. Um, so I've got this h1 tag right here and we're going to use DOM7 to actually select it inside the JavaScript. Okay, so down here, let's just um, create a new constant and we'll call this one heading, um, which will be equal to, and then we'll use the DOM7 library like that. And inside these brackets, um, you, uh, you type out a query selector. So I'm going to type out h1 right there um, to select all the elements um, that are h1 tags. So now, if I was to console.log um, this heading constant, okay, just like that, if I was to save this and refresh the browser, um, inside the console, we can see we have this object here and um, we've got this h1 tag right there um, selected as the first element. Okay, so that right there is how you can install the DOM7 um, library. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.